Uh, let's delete that intro. I don't edit these, you know. We're screwed. You're screwed. Now, here's the thing. I'm not even sure if my save data is saved. Never mind, it's saved. Wasn't that the issue? Wasn't there an issue last time with some sort of glitch? There was no glitch. Jesus Christ. What? Okie dokie. Oh my. Oh, I remember this. I don't know why, but I had a hard time even completing this when I had it on the Game Boy. I need to remember which one is mine, which one is Luigi. Okay. So that's interesting. Fuck me! I'm not very good at this. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it. one mini game that just puts you off the game completely and then you spoil yourself finding out there's this amazing thing about the game that happens afterwards yeah one second I'm gonna pause this for quick I was gonna just change the button oh, yeah. mapping but I was <laughs> you know it would be a horrible but great idea what if I had control of Mario and you had control of Luigi? Hmm. <laughs> Although I'd basically be doing just <sighs> pressing one button. Deet, deet, deet. Hmm. What? I'm trying to see if there's a way to slow down the emulation. Are you trying to cheat? No, of course not. I play games the right way. Oh yeah! Jump, jump! So this is why I said I wanted to record this again, because I know I'd be stuck here. Did it perfectly, first try. I thought you said you didn't edit these videos. <laughs> the, the, the joke was that I was gonna not edit the video and everyone would see my past fails and then I just come out and say it's first try even though they saw me fail multiple times. Ha! Now he has to not edit the video. That, that was the plan all along. Otherwise what? Look, for a brief moment, if you... No, you're not there. 
See, look, Luigi's spike goes underneath that. Look. Huh. But when you go up there. <laughs> sure, you don't want to check the pipe? No. Never mind. I trust you know what you're doing. I don't. But if I remember correctly, I think that's just a take you to different areas of the world. Sounds may happen. Just so I don't have to redo the. <laughs> hey, what's up, Bowser? Keep your diet jokes to yourself. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Does that imply Mario Luigi would be calling Bowser fat in the past? Well, Mario can't talk. Luigi. Literally. Maybe. Luigi, I can, I can see Luigi getting away with calling Bowser fat. <laughs> you reckon Luigi's got the balls to do that? Luigi in my head, yes. Luigi in the cannon, though. Aww. Bowser doesn't really seem like a bad guy in these games. He's not the main bad guy in these games, right? That's right, isn't it? No. Fuck, we have to go get 100 coins now. Because this one it was the Bean Kingdom, the next one with the time travel. Something else. And now it doesn't work like that. Man, how many of these were there? Uh, there was this one. One on the DS where they travel back in time and met baby cells, Bowser's Inside Story, uh, Dream Team, and then Paper Chair. Five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess Bowser was the bad guy in Paper Jam. Maybe that's why everyone didn't like it. <laughs> It's just... I know. It was basic. I can't... I thought it was a good idea in the game, but things like... It's just... It was more Mario and Luigi and not enough Paper Mario. Yeah. Like, the world we explored is... Uh, you know... Uh, what is it? Is it New Super Mario Bros? It was basically, we just explored that type of world. Hmm. It really was just... Mario... and Luigi just with an extra character. Yeah. Which is... but with crossovers, it should be the best of both series. Yeah. Like, it wasn't bad, it was just, I guess, like, everyone wanted a little bit more paper, which was, hmm. Yeah, everyone wants, that, that relates a lot to real life right now, everyone just wants a little bit more toilet paper. Very funny. But, 
I'm trying to remember what Paper Mario had because it was like the items collecting, but what else did it have? Because yeah, they already had the uh, uh, RPG aspect with the old fighting system, but what else did Paper Mario have? Not much. So I guess there really isn't much they could have done differently. Oh no. It had uh, unique characters and shit like that. Oh. Uh, Louis, Paper Mario and Luigi have unique characters. I mean, Luigi has. One of the things that Paper Mario is more known for it's like actual, you know, story writing. And then the Mario and Luigi series are like comedic story writing. Oh, yeah. I like how Mario and Luigi just agree to do this instantly without, you know, just talking. Nothing <laughs> wrong with these two. <laughs> what the fuck, Mario? <laughs> I'm going to commit murder. <laughs> <laughs> That is a great spice to splite the freeze on. <laughs> and now we're going on the spin. See that uh, Paper Mario remake where it, it's Legend of Zelda? Like, well, that's, what the fuck are you on about? I've never heard this ever. What are you smoking? And can I have some? There was a fan remake of Paper Mario where it was just where it was, instead of Mario it was Zelda. Oh. Pretty cool. I don't know if it was like a full-on game or just a little fan animation. On a one. Hmm? Well, what am I meant to click during these moves? Okay, I just realized something what they could have done with the Paper Mario one. What? Because Paper Mario, there's always someone you team up with. So instead of three characters, they could have went back. Oh, I guess that would have been predictable if they went back to the four thing. Except you get an extra one that ch changes up the. Okay, I think I figured out controls here. What was the bad guy in Dream? The Dream? Dream team, uh, like a fucking dream demon or some shit. Makes sense. Yeah. 
I still think like imagine how great a Waluigi and Wario version of this would be. Good point. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so the following up does not fully heal you in these ones, I forgot it. I don't know why Luigi would do less damage. I mean, Luigi would do less damage. I know words. Because his power stats are not as high as Mario's. I guess I'd be curious. What is Luigi more? But then again, I guess everyone's... I don't know, because sometimes in RPG, certain characters have certain as certain stats are better. Luigi they are better at. Defense in these games, Mario has better attack. That makes a lot of sense. What about with Bowser? Bowser like, has a bit, has a great offense and defense. Bowser was Bowser. Makes sense. He didn't have much for stats for himself. Oh, I already figured out you could use it. Sto Inside Story was great. Should I find my 3DS again? Fun. Proceed with Mario Bros. Yeah, see, I already figured this out. Splash Bros. Hey, you want some crack? No, look at my coin count. Fuck's sake. <laughs> nice. I don't know how, but I am so proud of myself. Now you'll never collect another coin again. Oh, I need to progress of the game. Guys, are stopping. Oh, 
through the emulator. Slow down for a second there. What does Stash do? Well, that's basically, you know, how you can get critical hits. Oh. I got a lot of critical hits. Oh, yeah, so I'm just going to go for this game and only put, it, as I said in the last episode, I'm only putting, uh, you know, my XP points into power. Mm. It's because I reckon that'll be funny. And I certainly got a bad idea. Put it all in the stash. <laughs> Only critical hits. Only oh, I'm reaching a point where Mario is just one-shotting everything. Hmm. It is Mario. <laughs> I'm realizing because... Because <laughs> how they did a crossover with Paper Mario. Well, I'm curious, what if they did the other way around? Um, yeah, that'd be more interesting because uh, they used Mario's world, so it and it just looked like the normal us uh, Mario world. But because of that, we didn't get any unique Paper Mario things. If I remember off the top of my head, was there was the occasional thing? Yeah, but things are like the paper. Oh wait, the paper battles got really repetitive with the paper craft. It was fun, maybe a couple times, yeah. but the fact that was every boss battle. I could have saved a few for bonuses or something. Look at this, how you expected me to do all this puzzle work. Hmm. I am curious, what if they did a crossover with the 3D games, made this a 3D? But then again, it loses its charm, because it's more of a pixel. Alright, before we begin... Actually, would it lose its charm? Let's pay up. Alright, oh, here comes our first boss fight. With more great music. Maybe not do four. You can do this. I'm just doing free damage on my boss attack, so I'm not supposed to do this. Okay, now I just got this weird thought. Because a lot of these creatures look like... A lot of these boss battles... It's always creatures that kind of look similar to Bowser. Yeah. Which no, makes no. me kind of think... It's 
<laughs> what if Bowser, since all the Koopalings are uh, hey, not Bowser's kit, what? Entirely. What? Even newer games that like Old ones with completely original designs and emphasize the final boss in this game. And I was about to say. Because they say a lot of that only Bowser Jr. is the only one that's actually Bowser's son. The other ones he adopted. Makes me think. <laughs> Maybe because. <laughs> All of these other bosses are neglecting their kids. Bowser adopted them all. Which also explains why they might have a grudge. But anyway. I get bored, I get theorized. This ain't no game theory, is it? Ah. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna jump with them both. You should increase the stash. Yeah. Pick it with a stick. <laughs> Mario, green stash! What the fuck? Okay, okay. Where's Bowser going? Oh, he died. That's the end of episode two. See you next time, guys. Bye. Alright, see ya. Where we meet Bowser in hell. Did anybody out there hear me?